I'm Lee. I have a degree in architecture, um, about 10 years experience in the construction field. And today we're doing a fairly ornate countertop in my own house. Um, both of the countertops are using the basic same colors, but it's a different tile type or texture. Okay, um, what this all started with was wanting one diamond tile in the middle of each part of the countertop. Okay, once you have this one tile centered, I have a 16 inch tile cut out in, ple in plexiglass, laid over it, and this little edging around here is going to become your border, which you can see on the counter in the back. And then alternating with gray and then red and then the diamond shapes. These, these diamond shapes are going to wrap around this part of the countertop. So you will cut it right there. And this part will go here, and then this part will go on here. And then in front of the sink, we'll have the same tile, the slate, which will go across the floor and go up the back of the wall of the back counter which is also going to go up the wall behind the sinks in both bathrooms also. Um, it's just going to be lay, laid out on quarter inch spacers and it's actually a lot easier than you think it is because you wrap all the tiles around everything. So you don't have to cut a tile and then decide what you're going to do here. You just wrap everything around. You, it, it will even be wrapped around the edge here. This is where we started the design at and what we did was we just uh, centered two tiles at a diamond angle more or less and then I wanted to put a border around those two so that these are just two spots that you see as soon as you glance at the countertop and so we made a 14 by 14 inch uh, cut out of plexiglass that we that we can lay over this and center everything off of everything is off of these four sides right here you work inward and get all your spacing and then you work outward to get all your spacing. And that's how you would um, lay out a ornate or a diagonal countertop. 